copyright free image let's talk about this <laughs> Hi, my name is Matis. I make daily video about intellectual property, legal and business. What is intellectual property? Think about trademark, copyright and other intellectual property. If you have questions about these things, feel free to contact me. In this video, we want to talk about copyright free image. I really hate that word copyright free, but uh, let's talk about it. I want to talk with you some things that you need to know about copyright, especially the basic. I'll also give you some example when you look online which you need to watch out for. I made some videos in the past about copyright free image, but in this video, an update, I'm going to show you what you need to watch out for based on the past video. So in this video, we're going to talk about copyright image and it's important to know what ABC formula is and where can you find copyright image online and what you need to watch out for and especially what people do when they advertise on Google. So we're gonna cover a lot, but let's begin. When you talk about copyright, you have the ABC formula. I explained this in a lot of video. It just come out to this. When you are talk, when we are talking about copyright or other intellectual property, you always have an ABC formula. An ABC formula, you just use it to determine your position or determines your rights or determine uh, what is important for you and what can you do or what can you not do. In this case, we have copyright and we have the ABC formula and it works like this. We have A, B and C. A is the right itself, it's the copyright, it's an exclusive right unless, um, unless you, made it, uh, you made it with someone else. B is the copyright owner, it can be one person can also be two person and C is the other person that want to use it or the other person that use it without the permission of B. So we have A, B, C. That's why it's called ABC formula. So if you use the right without permission, so if C use the right without permission, then B can sue C. C can be anything. B is the person that create the work. That's why it has the right. You need to watch out. Copyright. You also have rules in different country. Sometimes they are same, sometimes they are not the same. You need to watch out for the rule. Most of the videos, I will talk about the rules in the US, but if you want to know more about the rules in your own country, feel free to contact me. So we have an ABC formula. The thing is, we want to talk about copyright free image. Most time when they talk about copyright free image, they are saying that there is no copyright on the image, but it's not true. When you create a picture, you have automatic copyright on the picture. It's that simple. And the thing is, you cannot give the copyright away without them signing something or you signing something. And someone cannot say, hey, the picture is copyright free. You can do whatever you want. Yes, they can say that, but it doesn't mean the copyright belongs to you or someone else. So what I'm trying to say, if A wants to transfer the rights to C, you do it by an agreement. It has to be most of the time. That's how you call it transfer. But most of the time, if you look at the term copyright free, they're saying there is no copyright on the picture. But that is wrong. There is always copyright on the picture. The thing is you are just, if they're saying copyright free, you're just getting a license to use the picture. So you're getting a license. And it's important to know uh, what the, terms of what the terms are of the license and most people don't understand that so recap when someone say copyright free they just mean you get a license so we have an L for license it's important for you to know what is in the license for example if I make a picture of something and I tell you okay you're allowed to use it you need to ask me okay what are the conditions where am I allowed to use it? I'm allowed to sell those pictures. Those questions you need to ask them. Because most of the time people put things online for free, but they do not say anything. It doesn't give you a um, free ticket to use everything online, however you want. No, it doesn't work like that. Yeah. So what you need to do is look at the terms of look at the condition or ask about it. So if you know the copyright holder, ask them, okay, hey, I'm allowed to use this. 
Okay. okay, can you write it down? Can you confess? Um, can you verify it? Okay. Because when something goes wrong, or when your picture gets popular or anything, okay, and you don't have the copyright on it, you can have a problem, especially when they come after you. This works the same for music and other things. So my tip to you is copyright free image. Do not believe that. Look always for the condition. I'm gonna give you some examples. So I explained the whole thing. It's fair if I give you some example how it works. A good example is, um, let's say Pixabay. So uh, let me give you a bad example first. Copyright, let's say copyright free image. I give you a bad example. I'm not going to talk bad about the companies here, but the way how they use the terms is misleading. That's in my opinion. Yeah. So we have copyright free image here, Pixabay. Pixabay is a good example. Shutterstock is a bad example. Yes, you are buying the pictures on Shutterstock, but you are buying a license. You are not buying the, the copyright. You are buying a license to use the picture. Understand what I mean? So, like I said, you have A, is the right itself, the copyright, and B, is the copyright holder, and C. You understand so if you buy something online so you want to buy the the picture you need to have permission to use the picture so you're buying a license it doesn't mean the picture doesn't have copyright on it no the author didn't die the author didn't say hey you know what I don't have anything to do with this picture no he didn't do that so you are just buying a license License can be commercial, license can be non-commercial, doesn't matter. You're just buying license to use this picture. So, if you look at Shutterstock, copyright free image, the way how they say it, I really don't like it, it's misleading. So, if you look at um, Pixabay, okay, they're not using copyright free image, but they're using stunning free image to use anywhere. So, that means you have the license to use it, doesn't mean you own the image. For example, if I told you the image on a short, short stock, if I buy the image on short stock, does it mean I own the image and I can resell it? No, you can read that in the terms. Unless you get a special license or something, but most of the time it's really expensive to get that kind of license. So, short stock is a bad example. I'm not saying the company is bad. I'm saying how they use the word copyright free is misleading here. So. If you look at Pixabay, I'm really a fan of Pixabay. Most of the time when I make video and I need a picture, I just go to the website, get a picture and use it because I have a license to use it. So if you look at Pixabay, you see you have a lot of pictures here. You're allowed to use it. And here, see what it's saying? Free image and video you can use anywhere. Pixabay is a Fabian community of creative sharing copyright free image and videos. They are saying copyright free image, also misleading. Okay? But technically they are saying you are getting a license. How do I know that? Let's press off learn more. Look at the license. You see, simplifies Pixabay license. So you see, this is the license. And if you are using the picture, this is what allow. And this is what isn't allow. You are not allowed to resell it. They are saying it here. And if you say copyright free image, that means, okay, I can use the picture and resell it. You understand what I mean? Yeah. But here you see clearly the license, what is allowed and what isn't allowed. Yeah. So recap, when we are talking about copyright free image, always ask about the license. If someone transfer copyright to you, then you have those rights. If you create something yourself, then you have those rights. You understand? If someone die in 70 years past, then the right is for the public then you can use it. So if you have question about copyright free image, feel free to contact me and I will see you in the next video.